All right, welcome back. It is Thursday, my favorite day of the week. Our veterinarian, Dr. Joe, is here to answer all of your pet questions this afternoon. He's also brought along little Bo, and Bo here is just the Bo. sweetest thing. He really is. He's a good little dog. Um, he was an owner surrender. I think they were older people. We were trying to figure out if he's Shisu or Lhasa, and he may be kind of a cross of both. Is I, I, full disclosure, his hair is a lot longer than this. He was kind of mad at it, and so a lot of times we do the mm -hmm. buzz cut, let it grow back out. He's a he's a good little dog. He's actually very calm. Um, he's he's you know he's ready for adoption. He's house trained. He's he does well. He's probably more like I said, an adult than than kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. He seems to get along. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's like well, well, he's been up here a while. He's like well, yeah. maybe I'm ready to go, but yeah, he's, he's like, like I don't know. Go. But uh, but actually, he's a pretty good lap dog. He's been sitting here for quite a long time. Yeah. Oh so. yeah. No uh, barking, nothing. Anyway, but yeah, he's over at Heritage. If someone wants to call over there or come by and see him or whatever, and fill out an application. But he's a cute little dog. Yeah, so he's a sweet little we'll guy. We'll need some grooming, but that's okay. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, little Bo. Let's yeah. let's get to our yes. questions. All right, Katie asks, my cat has been drinking a lot of water lately. Should I be worried? Yeah, generally speaking, if there's an increase in water consumption, you should probably have that checked out by your veterinarian. You know, there's many things that can cause that to happen, but especially in older cats, we get concerned with diabetes or renal failure. And usually I'll tell people that's this is some screening tests and we'll get that, you know, kind of kind of kind of solved. So okay. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's so sweet. And he smells other dogs. Obviously. Yeah, he's like, what he's like, is that? Give me the sniff down. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Colin asks, what causes arthritis in dogs? Yeah, I mean, basically arthritis is just like it is in people. It's a degeneration of the cartilage in your joints. Um, you know, it's wearing out and it's less smooth joints or as they flex and extend or whatever. Uh, several things can be given to kind of slow down the progression and several anti-inflammatories. A lot of times uh, you try to figure out what's the cause of that again a little bit and the best things to kind of do. Um, but you kind of see your veterinarian and see how bad it is because usually when they're asking that it may be a limping or something which could be something totally different so. yeah absolutely always get it checked I, out <laughs> he's like i've been sitting he is, here a yeah, while he's, he's, i'm ready to go he's go, ready to go on a leaning you know yeah. like, we're going I'm he like, needs no, to go no. on a tour around the newsroom <laughs> here soon all right so Brittany asks how can i get rid of fleas on my dog Great news. It's now easier than ever to get rid of fleas, um, basically, <laughs> on, on dogs and cats. There are, there are topicals as well as oral products. Some of them last three months now. Uh, but the most important thing to remember, actually, in a household is everybody has to, has, to, has to take medicine at the same time. For instance, a lot of times people have two dogs and a cat, and they forget about the cat. Well, the fleas are still reproducing on the cat and producing more eggs or whatever, and although you'll see very few on the dogs, you still have a problem in the house. So that's mm. actually one thing that a lot of times, you know, we'll ask people and they'll go, oh yeah, I got a cat too, and be like, aha, uh -huh. you know, yeah. well, he's not itching. Well, you know, they eat them quite a bit, so. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah, it's kind of gross. They, yeah. I mean, they groom better than dogs, and yeah. so. But if you don't do that, then you'll be fighting them from here till you know the end of time. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, little Bo, you're ready to get down. You're ready to go do something fun. I see somebody over there, a friend. Yeah, yeah, he sees Brandon in the weather mm -hmm. center. If you have a question for Dr. Joe about your pets, please post it to our Facebook page, KJRH TV. And of course, if you're interested in adopting little Bo here, you can call Heritage Vet at the number you see right there on your screen. And if you want to learn more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital or maybe see some other pets who need homes, go to our website, KJRH.com. Thank you, Dr. Joe. Thank, and thank you, you so Bo. much. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.